All right, so to sketch our next shape, we're out of room, so I'm going to go to the next page. I'm going to let you be the judge of whether or not you need to go to the next page. So I'm going to flip this over, go to the back, and I'm not going to forget my title box. And I'm going to rewrite my title and my date. And we're going to do shape one here. Now, I'm going to skip three boxes, or actually I'm going to skip four boxes just to play it safe, below my title box. So I'm going to go down one, two, three, four, and I'm going to put it along this line right here, because I know this has a depth of, what's my depth? Six. And so I know I need to go back at least three in the depth direction before I start. And I'm going to start this corner right here, this far left corner, just a little bit from the left of the beginning of my page. I don't want to go all the way to the edge, but I don't want to go too far to the middle because then I'm going to go off the page either direction. I want to be towards the left and towards the top, giving myself plenty of room. Now, from this dot right here, how far down do we go? 1.5 goes down, 6. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then it goes to the right. How many? 2.25 is 9 squares. Yes, remember. Height and width are true and oblique, so we go the full amount. It's only in depth where we cut it in half. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to double check my math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then it goes up. How many? Three. Yes, very good. One, two, three. You get that from this height right here. 0.75 is three. Then it doesn't say how far it goes to the left. We can figure it out pretty easily, but let's just go back up here to the top left. We know it goes to the right three. So we go one, two, three. And then it goes down. It doesn't say how much, but I can assume since this is three tall and the entire thing is six, three plus three is six. So this is three. And if we did it right, these should connect by a length of six because three plus six is nine. And so it turns out math even works when you're sketching lines. Because math always works. Yay. Here's where it gets tricky. The depth in this one is going to get a little tricky, especially up here. So let's do this part last. Let's go down here and do this part. What is the depth of this line right here? It's 0.5, which we know is two squares in the depth direction. How many diagonals is that? One, so we're going to go back one here and one here, and then connect it by a height of three because math. And I'm going to try to make sure my lines actually go along my lines. Now, from there, it goes to the left. How far? Three. We got that from here. Go to the left, one, two, three. And then it's going to go, well, it doesn't say how far back of a depth it goes. What's the total depth? What's this depth right here? Two, and so we know two plus two, what does the third depth have to be to get a total depth of six? Two, because math. So we're going to go back one diagonal, because one diagonal represents two in the depth direction in a cabinet oblique sketch. Then it goes back to the right three more. And what I find incredibly interesting is even though these aren't connecting, they're also separated by a depth of one diagonal or two squares. I think that's kind of cool that it works out that way. Again, math always works. And then we go back another depth of one diagonal because we just said that was a depth of two, and we know that is two. We go down a height of three, height of three, and if we did it right, these should connect by a depth of one diagonal, which again we know is two squares. Now, we said earlier the total depth is six. So that means from this corner right here, it should go back three diagonals. One, two, three. And again, if we did it right, that should be a width of six squares. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And yes, again, math works. Hooray! What is the height up here? Still three. Very good. Now again... This is where it starts getting tricky. Now, it goes to the left three more, so I'm going to go ahead and go those three more. 
one, two, three. And if we did it right, these should be separated by a depth of three diagonals or six squares. And they are. So we're good. Here's the deal. What is the depth of this line and this line right here? One square, which is how many diagonals? Half. That's what I mean by it gets tricky. We go back half and we go back half. Now we're starting from a half. We're going to go to the right three. So that's one in the middle, two in the middle, three in the middle, and we get a width of three still because math, but it is in the center of our squares. Okay. Then it goes down 0.5. I can tell it goes down 0.5 because I'm looking right here. That is two, two squares. This is a height, not a depth. Pay attention to that. I know we're playing with the depth right now, but this gets a little confusing. This is a height. So we're going to go down a total of two, not one. So we're starting in the center. We're going to end in the center. One, two. And if we did it right, we should be a height of one above. Okay, and so let's see here. We're starting in the middle. Yes, we are one above that height. Okay, and then how far back does it go? That is four squares because this is one, this is one, and one plus one plus four is six. Okay, for us, what is that depth? Two diagonals. So we're starting in the middle again. Again, it gets tricky here. We're going to go one back in the middle and then two back, and we're going to end in the center again. Then we go up. 2, again, we're in the center here, 1, 2. Now, if we did it right, we should be half a diagonal away from that point. And we are half a diagonal away from that point. How nice. We should be able to go to the left 3 from here. So we're starting in the center, 1, 2, 3. And we're ending in the center. And again, we should be half a diagonal from that point. Now, all that's left is cleaning up these last couple lines here. So that's this line and this line. This goes as a height. It goes straight up and down. How high does it go up and down? Two. So we go up, down one, two, and it ends up. This line from our perspective and this line, these two lines right here, I'll mark them in blue for y'all. These two lines from our perspective will become collinear to each other, meaning they are, from our perspective, the same line. Oh, and we missed two lines over here. I apologize. We missed this line and this line. We can't see the entire thing. I'm just going to go down from that corner, and I'm going to go to the left from this corner and we end it where we can see it. And that's how you draw shape one in oblique.